Hi, I'm Taylor McNair with West Physiotherapy in Asheville, North Carolina. I wanted to take this chance to review the MedCline shoulder system pillow. Facebook kept showing me this pillow and I couldn't resist. Uh, I spend a lot of time working on sleep, sleep positions, helping people get good sleep, get through the night without pain because that's so important when people are healing from an injury, dealing with chronic pain, um, trying to decrease inflammation and just generally have a good life and get back to the things that they want to do. So uh, I finally splurged and got this pillow so I could try it out because I was so curious. Uh, this is the uh, pillow that's designed to uh, for people with shoulder pain. Uh, it has a little bit of an incline. They have another pillow that has more of an incline that they're marketing to people with gastrointestinal reflux disease. Uh, so the increased incline in the pillow helps decrease the um, opportunity of the fluid coming up the esophagus. So uh, this is the one that I have and this is the one that I've tried out sleeping on. Uh, it comes with uh, several pieces. So there's, it's sold together with this large uh, foam body pillow. The primary wedge here, which has a large hole, and then this piece that fills in the hole. Uh, so this came really fast. I ordered it from their website and I think I had it within 24 to 48 hours. So really quickly, um, and they quickly reached out to make sure that I had it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you do buy one, they ask that you, or they require that you try it for 30 days before you return it. Uh, and I think that has to do with the density of the foam and getting used to sleeping on something that's an incline. So it does take a little bit of time for your body to adjust and see if you can get comfortable on it. Um, so talking about foam just a little bit, this seems to be a memory foam. So anytime you have a memory foam, you can see that if I push and depress the foam, the foam is going to pop back up to its original position. Okay. Um, so that's something to know about foam. It's always going to be exerting a little bit of force back at you. So if you're very sensitive, sensitive to pressure, um, or you're not in an optimized position, then this could be uncomfortable. So any pillow has got to fit your body. You've got to make it work for you and you've got to make it fit certain principles of positioning. Um, and those are some very important principles that I learned from Vicki Johnson with the Institute of Physical Art. So I'll be talking about those and how they apply to this pillow in just a little bit. So that's kind of what the uh, material is made of. Uh, the first night I tried this out, I couldn't sleep on it. I really couldn't fall asleep. I spent about 30 minutes on it um, and it was a little too uncomfortable in my rib cage. Took it off. Uh, then the next night I actually got several hours of sleep, probably between four, at least four hours. Uh, woke up. I wasn't uncomfortable. Uh, I think I changed positions once or twice on the pillow and then I just didn't feel like being on it anymore, took it out of the bed. Same thing the next night, probably four to six hours, and then took it out of the bed. It's pretty big, so taking it out of the bed is a little bit of a project in the middle of the night. Um, and for me, personally, it was pretty warm. Uh, this material, and then you're wrapped in the body pillow, so a lot of your heat is trapped, and if you've got anything warm on top of you, and you tend to sleep a little bit hot, or you tend to have maybe some night sweats. Not saying I do, but if you did, then <clears throat> this uh, that would be one of my biggest uh, issues with this, is that it might be too hot. Okay, so let's get into positioning a little bit, okay? Um, they do show this on YouTube. I didn't find the positioning that they demonstrated on YouTube to be optimal. I think they left the neck in um, a bad position for sleeping for a, lo a long period of time. So I want to talk about that uh, especially. Um, 
and also some things to do with this body pillow for the lower body. These body pillows I like up here, but they're not great for, this is not a lot of support ultimately for your legs. I was able to make it work for me. I'm about 5'4", so if you are any bit taller, in my opinion, this is not enough for between your legs uh, to get really good support and to stabilize your back. Your back is already going to be slightly side bent. There's just no way to get around it with this inclined pillow. Okay, but if you do have shoulder pain, uh, rotator cuff tendonitis, shoulder bursitis, you're doing a ton of snatches at CrossFit and you can't get comfortable at night, shoulder pain is waking you up and keeping you from sleeping. You always sleep on your left side and now you can't because you have shoulder pain, you had some kind of surgery, etc., etc. You've got a lot of numbness or tingling, then this could be an option. Uh, it's a little bit fussy to get uh, situated in this. And so if you don't have something that's keeping you from getting a good night's sleep, I'm not sure you want to go to the trouble of doing this. That's my personal opinion. But if you do have shoulder pain that's keeping you from getting through the night, it could be worth looking into. Okay, if you do have it, then you want to have your armpit up high enough that it clears this ridge, okay? So that's number one for me to get my armpit all the way up to the top. A little bit of my hip is actually on top of this pillow. I'm gonna thread it through this space, okay? This is what allows you to decompress the shoulder. Now, you can leave it here, or what I found more comfortable for me was to prop it, bring it back in the pillow here so it was a little bit bent. Okay, so once you're up here, you kind of got to climb up it. There's some friction because of the covering on it. And then you've got to get this piece situated. So it's going to come behind your back. You want this tucked up into your neck. Okay, body pillow is going to come down in the front. I recommend this coming between your legs in your groin. Bend your knees so that your ankles are also supported. This is the issue if you're taller. To me, you're going to be here with a little bit of support and you could still have hip rotation. So that's not optimal. Uh, but if you can do it, you can do it. Okay. The biggest issue with this, and the issue that I had with the um, instruction video that they gave, is that because of the angle that my trunk is coming up, if I keep my head coming straight off of my trunk angle, it's really about here. If I let it come down to the pillow, I've side bent my head and neck. As you first get comfortable, it's not going to feel like that big a deal. But over time, if you're trying to get several hours of sleep, if you're trying to get into deep sleep, this is going to be an issue in my opinion. So what I had to do is take a down or down alternative pillow, something that compresses and does not pop back at you, preferably not foam, okay? Snugged it into my neck, so I'm giving support from the center out, made a little room so it wasn't in my face, I could still breathe, okay? Now, that allowed my head to be in line with my trunk, which is very important. If you're trying to get into deep sleep, if you're trying to eliminate pain, if you're trying to eliminate numbness, tingling, symptoms down in your arm, you need your neck to be in a neutral position. You can't have it side bent down, can't have it side bent up. Okay, so this is my biggest uh, tip and probably takeaway um, from this system. And it's not too bad actually to change positions. I was able to change positions roll over, leave this in the same position, bring it through my legs from the back, and everything else is the same on the other side. So I think there's potential for changing sides with this pillow. There may even be some potential. I woke up at sometimes on my back, which was not horrible, but it does tend to roll your shoulders forward a little bit, which is, um, 
may or may not be optimal for you. So I think there's potential for keeping your spine in a neutral position. You're going to have to fuss with it and play with it a little bit, and you may need additional pillows um, besides the system that the company sends to you. Uh, my other issue with it is that the body pillow is not necessarily going to give you enough hip, knee, or ankle support uh, when you're laying down with it, especially if you are a taller person, have longer legs. Um, and then the other issue that I personally had with it is the material is going to keep you fairly warm at night. So if that's a problem at all for you, then you may struggle with that piece of it. But all in all, it's a pretty, um, it's an interesting uh, pillow. I'm probably going to keep it because I may use it on occasion. And uh, I like having it for my patients to, to, uh, to try out and experiment with. Okay, thank you so much.